What you are going to watch from now on is a video clip introducing an actual application of AIS 3000 equipment among AIS series of Frontix. The equipment can be directly installed on a large structure in operation at an industrial site and used to easily and quickly measure the tensile properties of the object in a non-destructive way. The AIS series of Frontix was first introduced in 2000. In its early stage, AIS 1000 and AIS 2000 were developed to evaluate tensile properties, and AIS 3000 was developed in 2005 for evaluating residual stress. In 2008 and 2010, a compact model, AIS 3000 Compact and AITU for lab test, were developed respectively and then Nano AIS was also developed successfully at the end of 2011. First, I will briefly tell you about AIS equipment. AIS equipment is an instrumented indentation test device which measures diverse properties of materials in a non-destructive way. By using this equipment, measurements can be more easily and quickly made than existing test methods and more reproducible and accurate quantitative result can be obtained. The items which can be measured using AIS equipment include tensile properties, hardness, residual stress, and fracture toughness. In this video clip, I will introduce an application example of AIS 3000 utilized to measure tensile property by attachment. Now we will see through what process measurements are made and the result is obtained in actual tests. The whole test process is divided into six steps. First, the location of the test object is checked. Second, polishing is done to obtain the desired surface roughness of the test location. Third, the equipment is attached and fourth, an indentation test is conducted. Fifth, the data obtained by the indentation test is analyzed to finally prepare a test report which completes the whole test process of six steps. Next, you will see the representative examples which show to what structures and what industries AIS equipment is applied. The first is an example of measuring tensile properties of a natural gas pressure container. The second is an example of measuring tensile properties of a buried pipeline carrying natural gas. The third is an example of measuring tensile properties and residual stress of a turbine rotor in a thermoelectric power plant. The fourth is an example of conducting PQR test when industrial facility material is warehoused. The last ones are examples of measurements made by applying AIS equipment to different industrial fields. Before watching the actual applications of the equipment, I will explain what types of attachments there are and by what criteria they are used differently. Attachments are generally divided as shown in the table in accordance with the size of the object tested. As to other objects with unusual shapes, customized jigs will be specially manufactured by Frontix to conduct the test. From now on, I will show you how AIS equipment is attached to a petrochemical installation in a production base among industrial facilities, dividing it by attachment. The first case of applying an attachment is that of a V-block utilized for tubes of sizes between 3 fourths and 2 inches. The V-block is comprised of a V-block base, a bracket, and connect nuts, which fasten them as shown. Before the AAS equipment is attached to 1-inch tube using a V-block, you will see the looks of the test steps conducted sequentially by step, excluding that of the report preparation, which is the last step among the six steps explained earlier. The test object and the location are confirmed. After confirming the test object and the location, an attachment suitable for the object is selected. The desired surface roughness is obtained through polishing work before conducting indentation test. After obtaining the desired surface roughness, the AIS equipment is attached to the object of measurement using a V-block.
equipment attached is then connected to a notebook computer in which the software exclusively for AIS is installed using a cable or wireless Bluetooth. Three to five minutes are required to conduct an indentation test. The test flow is as shown in the red box. It is comprised of five steps. First, the indenter moves to the test position. Second, the indenter is engaged with the test unit. Third, indentation test is conducted. Fourth, the test is actually completed. And fifth, the indenter automatically returns back to the original position. The user can check the progress of the five test steps by step on the monitor. The equipment is designed to minimize errors due to unskilled operation by letting the software automatically control the unit not to conduct the next step if the previous step has not been conducted. It is comprised of intuitive interface, free of unnecessary option setup, and friendly screen settings. If an indentation test is completed, an indentation impression is generated as shown on the object of measurement which has been indented. At this time, the generated indentation impression is very minute and the depth is 150 micrometers. This is a level which does not have any effect on the thickness of the object. Secondly, you will see an application example of a U-block utilized for pipes of size between 3 and 6 inches. The U-block is comprised of one of U-block sockets of 3, 4, 5, and 6 inch sizes, a bracket, and connect nuts which fasten them. Now, you will see how AIS equipment is attached to a 6 inch pipe for test using a U-block. All the processes are same as those of a V-block which you have seen in the V-block application example earlier. Thirdly, you will see an application example of a chain utilized for pipes of sizes between 6 to 40 inches. The chain is comprised of a chain set, main hook, hook, and connect nuts, which fasten them as shown. Now, you will see how AIS equipment is actually attached to a 30-inch pipe for test using a chain. All the processes are conducted same as those of V-Block, which you have seen in the V-Block application example earlier. Lastly, you will see an application example of a flat magnet utilized for flat objects. Flat magnet is comprised of flat magnet A-type bracket and B-type bracket as shown. 
Now, you will see how AIS equipment is actually attached to a flat object for test using a flat magnet. All the processes are conducted same as those in VBlock, which you have seen in the VBlock application example earlier. This completes introduction of all the application examples by attachment.